name is Sarah Hussain and first things first, I started a blog. So go read it. And second, I'm going to make videos. Like sometimes I feel like typing out stuff doesn't really give out the emotions, you know, that we feel being girls. So this is my way of giving out the vibes when I'm talking, you know, all those captions and exclamation marks are gonna come out here. So this is my first video on YouTube and this is going to be my May favorites 2017 video. I wanna do a favorites video for each month cause I love shopping. Who doesn't love shopping? Every girl loves to shop. Even if it's like Home Depot, I know, Home Depot. We love to shop. So let's get started. Um, it's summer I want to talk about my beauty favorites first so since it's summer we have to talk about SPF you can you can see like the sun's glaring at me it's really hot like it's like we face the west so now the sun's going down and it's like glaring at me and I ordered my natural lighting on Amazon and it's not here now so I'm using this so if I sweat I'm sorry anyways so it's summer and we need SPF and every girl out there will agree that to save our skin from sun damage, aging, dryness, skin spots, um, pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, every dark spot is a big one. Everything we need SPF and if you're Asian like me, South Asian descent, Pakistani, Indian, Bangladeshi, whatever it might be you guys know that we have a certain issue with spf it leaves a white film on our face and we brown girls we either have yellow or olive undertones so that white film makes us look like ghosts like really bad and in pictures it shows up quite a lot it like highlights too so it's not a good look i did a lot of research and i tested out a lot of like um SPF to find um, one that wouldn't leave a white film and I had success. I found HelioCare Advanced Gel with SPF 50 on Amazon.com. It has a slight, like I just dropped it, so it has a slight color tint to it. It does not have a white film on it. It's kind of like a tinted BB cream, but it's not a moisturizer. It's not a CC cream or a BB cream, but it has that tint that usually BB creams or CC creams would have. So it does not leave the white film on our face. And it gives you this glowing look like your face is moisturized yet protected by SPF. So this is like a must have for summer. If you're Asian or Desi specifically, I would highly recommend this. It is a go-to for us. Like, this is what we would go in battle with, with our foundation. Going into battle with our foundation. Yeah, because we need to even our skin tone out with our foundation and that white SPF does not do good to us. So, this is the SPF you want. We'll link it down below on Amazon. Number two, if you can't get your hands on that, get your hands on the Maybelline BB Cream 3-in-1. So, 8-in-1. Oh my god, it's not 3-in-1. I thought it was just a moisturizer, SPF, and foundation. But it's 8-in-1 because it has a lot of stuff. The only thing I don't like is it has titanium dioxide as its SPF. But, um... This is like good, a good everyday wear. Like if you don't want to spend that much on uh, your like everyday, like run out of the gym, run to Target, run here, run there, run to class, run to work, and you're just like in the sun for a little while, and you can do with like a lower SPF of 30, then this is your go-to. This does have a white film on it. I'm sorry to say, my Asian gal pals, this does have a slight white film to it, but I like this because it's like everything in one a moisturizer an spf a little bit of a tinting foundation like you can use this on top of my next favorite to even your skin tone out like it's this this is a must-have it's makeup oh sorry it's makeup forever's um peach colored step one skin equalizer basic clay radiant primer basic clay yeah eclair 
anyway so this is the primer i got my eyes on this i'm out looking for anything that's peach or sound always my eyes are out they're looking they're proud perusing the sephora aisles to look for a really good peach and salmon corrector and i buy one whenever i see one to test it out because i don't want to crease underneath my eyes because i use them underneath my eyes around my mouth but this is like a primer that is salmon and peach and is it really works it does even out your skin tone it does get you that brightening effect with the evening effect evening out of the skin tone effect and um blurring your pores too so it's like a three-in-one for us asian girls um people who might have like a redness factor might go and get the green one because if you're like um white if you're like you know caucasian you might want to go and get the green one this one the makeup forever uh blur base eclair green one so that you know it neutralizes your red uh, skin and cheeks and stuff because that's what they get usually they have the opposite of what Asian girls have but this is what us uh, darker skin tone or tan or neutral or beige skin tone girls would want um, love it it blurs it out so I wear if you like this if you combine this with this the uh, this kind of looks like a foundation with an SPF like a good summer look you can create a really good summer look with this next is my favorite moisturizer past one year i've been playing hide and seek with this i love this but i hate this too i love this for the smell the moisturizer it's the tata harper can you see that yeah it's the tata harper's um reparative moisturizer i love it because it's a great moisturizer it smells like oud if you've ever used tom ford's oud wood the perfume you know what i'm talking about it smells like oud if you if you're from like the middle east asian middle east you'll understand what i'm talking about that smell of oud it's ramzan right now so ramzan mark to my girls we have like oud in our house it smells amazing this moisturizer smells like it and it is very very moisturizing the minute you it touches the skin you feel its moisture quenching techniques like you can feel it my only uh my only uh, big, uh, what do you call it? I just don't like this only because of the price. It's really expensive, like it's a hundred and something. And I love this brand. So when I buy this, I end up buying the uh, misting spray. That is also so moisturizing and it sets your foundation. And I end up buying the night oil from Tata Harbor because I love the smell. I love their moisturizing effects and everything. I just love it. It's amazing. So if you can spend $100 and above, go to Sephora, get the Tata Harbor. It's organic. By the way, Tata Harbor is organic. It does not harm your skin, does not harm the planet or animals in any shape or form. It's a great brand. It's like a great brand if you're very um, earth conscious. That's what I'm going to say. My next fav beauty favorite is Giorgio Armani silk foundation yeah not gonna it's not gonna like Giorgio Armani's luminous silk foundation I did not want to love this why again price very very expensive like can't use this every day but I do use this every day because for the price this is the most foundation I've gotten like I've used Chanel's and uh, Tom Ford's and Charlotte Tilbury I've used more expensive ones too I own Kevin Yaquan too that is also a great foundation. I'll talk about my uh, Desi Girl foundation hacks in another video. Right now, it has the best shades for Asian skin tone girls. For us neutral, beige, tan girls with yellow or olive undertones, this is the best bet. It'll give you the JLo glow. That's what I like to call it, the JLo glow, without any excessive. Um, shininess or oily looking oiliness this is amazing with a co good corrector you don't need a lot of it it's a good full coverage foundation and it's in liquid form it does not cling to your dry pores it's it goes on smoothly with a sponge, sponge or a brush a little goes a long way too you just use the normal amount of amount that you would and it has amazing shades for us like it's very difficult to find a foundation that has good shades for daisy skin tone girl 
I mean Indian or Southeast Asian girls because our skin tone is first of all different tone like we have hyperpigmentation or pigmentation or different tones in our skin and it's a very different shade that most brands don't get they cater more to the Caucasian or the African American uh, uh, girl gangs and us kind of get lost in the middle if it's Asian then it becomes too yellow or too orange because it caters to the um, East Asian people so for us it's really tricky sometimes you need like two to blend it out and give our skin like the proper shade but um, Giorgio Armani and Bobbi Brown do really good things and this is a great, great one my next beauty favorite is NARS I love the Narcissist palettes. Like, who doesn't love the Narcissist palettes? Like, I I own all of their like not all of their some of their blushes and highlighters. They have, it's a good brand to own. But this palette is the ultimate palette for any girl to have in her arsenal. Like, you have all the blush shades that you could wear, especially for especially for us girls, Desi girls, Asian girls, Asian Indian girls, Asian Pakistani girls, Bangladeshi girls, whatever kind of girls you want to call us, this is the only blush that you'll ever need. Like these are the only blush tones you'll ever need. Be it a wedding or a normal everyday, these are the only highlights you'll ever need. Like these are perfect. Like the middle one is going to make you glow. Like I love it. I love like they cover the peach the pink and the orange and the purple tones so that's all we need we just need like good three tones to go with our bronzers this palette is amazing for the value it's pretty tiny it cost 140 dollars something but it's worth it it's going to last your la lifetime like nars sells each of their um blushes for quite a lot like 40 something so 100 and something for six of these is amazing it's really good. My next beauty favorite is um, a perfume. It's Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. I don't buy perfumes here because I have that weird thing that I'm not going to pay taxes on perfume when I can buy it from the airport launches or Dubai. So I do that. I go to the launch in the airport and buy perfumes. And my recent purchase was Jo Malone's sage wood sage and sea salt it is my go-to spring summer perfume it smells amazing you can tell i just love the floral oud wood kind of smell like this is not the heavy floral oud wood kind of smell like the oud that the arabic women wear it's very florally and spring and summery i love it if you have to go and smell it like go to a nordstrom or a sabora or Saks Fifth Avenue right next to you and smell it right now. Just go and smell it. Don't even buy it. Smell it, please. My next favorite is going to be a um, very funky one. It's a body shower by Soap and Glory. It's the Sugar Glory Almond Oats Brown Sugar. Like it's $80 for so many, like, so many ounces. It's a lot. But it's moisturizing, it's not clinical, it does not make you feel dry. Like, my husband loves this. Like, when a guy loves a body wash and demands for a refill of this and not get a new one, you know a body wash is really good. And it smells heavenly. It smells, it'll make you smell like your dessert, like your vanilla cinnamon dessert. It's sugary smelling, but it's kind of good. Like, it makes you feel luxurious without paying the price for it. Oh, this is amazing. My next fashion favorite is sunglasses. These are by Koei and they're like this, kinda. I first got introduced to this brand, brand Koei, Q-U-A-Y, um, at Nordstrom's, but now I just buy from them directly because they get sold out pretty quickly, so I just buy from them directly. I love their styles I love their shape like I recently got, got a haircut like I got bangs so these shades go really well with my haircut and my hair shape and summer and spring is all about sunglasses sunglasses all day every day love this 
I'll link it down below if you want to go buy it. Next favorite has to do with food. It's Zevia. Yeah, I love drinking carbonated drinks because I cannot drink water. I need some flavoring to them and I'm trying to like like not drink Coke Zero and Diet Coke so I've been on and off the bandwagon for Zevia because I use Stevia all the time but even when I use Stevia the sweetener I use like a little bit and Zevia has a lot of Stevia in it so this is something that you can sip throughout the day and not finish it but still get that carbonated thing like I want a carbonator too I put some lemon in it and everything but still like for a quick fix Zevia is really good you can get it at your nearest Target or Trader Joe's really good next favorite is these two books i recently um quit mba quit my job i'm changing my career so i'm studying something else and to get started into studying a new subject i wanted motivation and i was on amazon and i came across these books the first one is the art of getting started and the next one is one page a day so my least favorite is this it's good but it has a lot of like blank stuff so it's like a journal more so i did use this but i didn't use it as much as i use that one like it's a lot of like thought bubbles and stuff like that so it gets you started it gets your juices flowing in your brain it gets your mojo going to get started and study and touch a book feel a book open a book study hold a pen and be able to take notes but i love this one one page a day is like fun little things you can do it makes you do tiny little tasks and complete them and just the pictures because they're like oh my god there's a journal entry what are you searching for gucci everything really <laughs> gucci everything <laughs> yeah it's like fun like that like do you see that like it's fun so it's get it gets you like turning pages opening a book let's do something i love doing these pages without having to write a long journal entry like i'm making a video so that i don't have to um have a long journal entry um on a blog <laughs> it's really bad of me to say that but i try to express myself you know be seen and be expressive so this is a great way to express yourself okay took a break because my camera was recharging and I was sweating bullets sitting right next to the window facing west, not east, west. Where's your brain, Sarah? Where is it? Knock, knock. Anyways, yeah, it might be hungry because I got a Quest farm. My food favorite is Quest. Me and my husband love Quest bars. We buy these by the boxes at GNC. Like, we pay way too much for these, but it's okay. Cause um, we don't get enough protein in our bodies. We work out a lot. Both of us are like fit into fitness and building muscle. I run, I train a lot. So whatever I eat, my body uses it up really quickly. So this is a great, great way to get the protein in. It has fats and protein in it, very few carbs, and this is the almond vanilla flavor. It has 20 grams um, protein in it, almost as much as the chicken breast. So all of you vegans out there, North, North Indians, North Indian Asians, people who do not eat meat and want to still get the protein in while you get your veggies in too, you can have Quest bars. Like, I don't like drinking smoothies a lot. Like Quest has protein powders too. They're amazing, but their protein powder, um, uh, carb ratio is not the same like this is low carb me and my husband love eating low carb high fat we like eating um, that kind of a diet I'll talk more about it I'm going to do more videos on low carb and high fat diet so that I want my Asian ladies Asian American Southeast Asian ladies to get into fitness and eating low carb like our diets suffer a lot just because we are Asian and we're foodies by heart but we need to change the game we need to eat properly so that we are fit and running till our 90s so this is a really good way to 
stay away from bad foods and in with a new running shoes whoop, whoop, whoop. so I have two shoe favorites one for spring and fall and this is also spring and fall winter summer everything but this is like my fitness favorite because I love these new balance shoes like for summer they're amazing like look at them like they're highlighted they actually look pretty cool they don't don't look boring or anything like adidas and stuff like that can kind of look boring sometimes nike too i owned a lot of nike pairs but if you have any ankle issues and you want to run you want to be active new balance is amazing like the this is like the 180 fresh foam running pairs from new balance and they're amazing like i have pronation on my left side not on my right side and these help balance it out and they are soft and smooth they are a smooth ride when you're running it'll make you spring forward and not they'll absorb the shock and not let your body feel all the shock like your joints and bones they're jiggling and wiggling no and they look amazing they give you a really cool look your whole outfit a really cool look I'm gonna have a vlog up with one of my workout outfits and I'm wearing one of these shoes in there. My next favorite is right here. This is kind of gonna be like an unboxing because I got this and I barely ever opened it because it was winter and I wanted to wear them for fall but I was visiting my family in fall so I didn't really get to wear them so I decided to wear them during the spring but it's been quite rainy out here during our spring in Chicago it was raining today too these are the Gucci loafers they were all over Instagram among all bloggers last year on during fall but I didn't get to wear them but I love them they're like an evergreen pair like if I'm done wearing them I'm gonna give them to my dad like this is something my dad would totally wear me and my dad share shoes and watches a lot. One of my favorite watches is from my dad, but this is not. This is just the Garmin watch. Um, anyway, so these loafers are amazing. They are genuine leather and they are like so fluffy. They can like snazz a whole outfit up in a jiffy. They look amazing. They give you that cool yet elegant look. That's what we're after. All of us millennial girls out there, yet elegant that's the look we want anyways so anyways my last favorite is going to be um uh, uh, some somewhat of a non-traditional favorite it's, it's a series on netflix called 13 reasons why and i would recommend anybody to watch it like who does not like binging on netflix i'm always on the lookout for something to watch on netflix 13 reasons why now why I want you to get into it because when it starts off it's not that fun to watch it's not that amazing to watch I understand you it's slow it's kind of boring my treadmill runs when it's raining and pouring out here in Chicago it's my treadmill runs go to watch 13 reasons why so it has a good message in it like we need more movies like that out there to send that message to the teenagers and people so that people are nicer to each other they're more warm towards each other and understanding like we all need to take care of each other and help each other move forward and that's the message it sends out you need to i don't want to ruin it for you guys you need to go everyone i'm sure has netflix by now or you, you'll find a way to watch it you'll find a way to watch it i know it so you just need to go and like kind of go and watch that my second series favorite is the last season of Doctor Who. Doctor Who is a sci-fi series. Like I love, come on, tell me guys, who does not lie? I love uh, watching stuff about the future. Who's not into talking about the future? Like who does not love, like talking about futuristic things? Life in the future Earth or being able to travel through time so i'm not sure if it's you or not maybe it's just nerdy me the nerd in me i love watching sci-fi that's kind of like futuristic and doctor who was my go-to i love watching doctor who it's this is the last season and it's a must watch it's there's only like six episodes right now 
so it's a great time to get into it and I think by far this is the best season so this is what you need to get into Doctor Who and 30 Reasons Why and subscribe to my channel go read my blog I'm gonna link everything down below I'm gonna write a blog post to linking this video like the video comment about what you liked did not like want me to do want me to talk about want me to make a video about and co connect yeah let's get connected let's make friends this is my new way of putting myself out there I'm trying to like open myself up more you want to talk more I want to talk more I'm here, anybody wants to connect with me, so subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you in my next video, bye!